crowds of aviation trade professionals, the launch of a new model of the Airbus A330, press conferences and aircraft order announcements, an unbeatable flying display, it must be the 2014 Farnborough International Air Show. Thursday is underway at the show, the last before Farnborough opens up to the public visitors on Friday. And day four has started with news of yet more orders for A330neo and A320neo aircraft. Airbus executives met with the Aviation Press Corps for one final time during the 2014 show, answering questions and reflecting on perhaps the most successful Farnborough ever for Airbus. Aviation fans who are not able to attend Farnborough in person this year can experience the Airbus Group Pavilion exhibition online at airbus.com with a self-guided tour of all the displays. But before taking a virtual stroll around the world of Airbus, we've got some flying to do. Airbus Direct's coverage of day four at the Farnborough International Air Show starts right now. Sunny day in Hampshire. On behalf of all of my Airbus colleagues, Around the world, I'm Clay McConnell, joined by my colleague Harry Nelson. We'd like to welcome you to the 2014 Farnborough International Air Show. It's a beautiful day to fly. We're looking forward to a good flying display once again from our Airbus A380, Airbus A350 XWB, and A400M aircraft. And Harry, looks like a really beautiful day to fly. Tell us about the conditions. Yeah, thank you very much for inviting me to join you again. Thank you for that. Yeah, the conditions are perfect for the air show. We've got an off-crowd wind, uh, which is exactly what the pilots will like. Uh, everything is set for a great show. Terrific. Let's go to the flying display. Next up in the order of flight is, of course, the Airbus A380, the world's largest and most efficient passenger aircraft. The aircraft is powered by four Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engines, each delivering 70,000 pounds of thrust on takeoff. The A3DO also can be powered by the Engine Alliance GP7000 engine. The Airbus A380 has a range of up to 8,500 nautical miles with a full load of passenger and cargo. More than 135 A380s have been delivered to airlines around the world. The crowd present here today at Farnborough can certainly hear, or not hear as the case may be, the remarkably quiet display of the A380, which delivers on reduced noise despite its power and size. The 350 is in position for takeoff as the A380 makes its approach. This handoff between the aircraft types is a, is a bit of a ballet. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, uh, the takeoff, uh, the, the power up and start of the roll for the 350 is controlled by the 380. The 380 guys will give a 10 second warning and then as they come through about 500 feet, they will say go. And at that point, the 350 go. They've already pre-briefed if anything goes wrong and here goes the 350 as we speak. A380 comes in for a landing. As we say goodbye to the A350 XWB, we say hello to the Airbus A400M from Airbus Defense and Space. While 2014 was the first appearance for the A350 XWB at Farnborough, the A400M is making its third public display. accelerating hard now and coming along the crowd line accelerating and he'll pull up into a, a bank to the right we'll it'll be interesting to see what bank he gets up to but we've been seeing about 110 degrees this week let's have a look very steep very steep climb out and here goes the bank well there's 90 yeah he's gone over the 90 that's about 100 110 something like that very nice very nice maneuver An exceptional flying display by three exceptional aircraft. 
Harry Nelson, thank you very much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure once again partnering with you, and we look forward to welcoming you back sometime again on Airbus Direct. And speaking of back on Airbus Direct, be sure to join us again tomorrow, Friday, for Day 5, the first public day at the Farnborough Air Show. Meanwhile, I'd like for you to stick around because we have a chat with Airbus President and CEO Fabrice Bregier, who will have some reflections on the 2014 Farnborough International Air Show and uh, look back at all of the accomplishments and what's taken place. A lot has gone on in the past four days. In addition, later today you may want to check Google Play or your apps, your uh, smartphone's app store because Airbus's six app magazine will be published, uh, most focused mostly on the A350 and the flight test program, the test campaign, the certification efforts. So with that, I'll introduce our President and CEO Fabrice Bregier, and I will wish you goodbye from the 2014 Farnborough International Air Show. This Farnborough Air Show was a great air show. Actually, it was the best Farnborough Air Show in uh, Airbus history. Uh, and I see at least two reasons. The first one is that we got nearly 500 orders and commitments, which is huge, with a catalog value of $75 billion. And the second one is that on the first day, we launched a big evolution of the 330, the 330neo. And uh, with this uh, new version, uh, bringing a 14-person fuel burn reduction, we got already six customers on board. Uh, ALC, Steve Aziz's uh, company, uh, was the launch customer with 25 uh, aircraft. We got uh, AirAsiax uh, with Tony Fernandez with 50 aircraft. It was very vocal some months ago that we should launch this version. And we got three leasing companies and three uh, airlines. So it's a very good start with uh, more than 120 commitments so far. The customers, you know, are looking for uh, short-term solutions. And this is why our incremental innovation strategy, uh, bringing both the maturity of aircraft like 320, 330, but at the same time, innovations uh, is uh, very appropriate and uh, is supported by our customers. And when you come up with 15% fuel burn reduction on the 320neo, or 14% on the 330 NEO, you have a lot of customers queuing up. And so our challenge will be to meet the entry into service by the end of 2017 and ramp up as fast as possible. The 320 NEO confirms its success. We have now passed the 3,000 net orders three years and a half after its launch. We got a big order from the Japanese leasing company, uh, Sumitomo Mitsui. Uh, we got additional orders uh, from ALC, as an example. And uh, we will continue to be successful because this is a fantastic aircraft. And uh, we believe that we will continue to lead this segment. So uh, what remains to be done now? First flight. The aircraft is ready. We are expecting some uh, final uh, results from uh, the engine uh, of Craft at Whitney, and then we will fly in September and ramp up as fast as possible. We have a huge potential uh, and uh, we uh, are in the leading position because uh, we have started this innovation one year before our competitor. Regarding the orders, I think uh, uh, when we add the commitments during this show, and the 290 net orders we got so far, we are above already our initial forecast, which was a, a book to build above one. Uh, so uh, the focus for me is uh, more on uh, how we take decisions faster. We uh, bring more agility, more innovation uh, within Airbus. And uh, uh, believe me, if we launch the 330 NEO, it's because we were able not only to come up with a very good technical solution, but also to deliver the performance in 36 months, meaning 20% less than what we are doing on the 320neo. So this one matters. It's how we, as Airbus, become a very agile company. For me, the star of the show was the A350. We uh, demonstrated it in flight. It's a marvelous uh, aircraft uh, to look at. And uh, on top of that, we are making good progress. We uh, 
are about to complete the flight tests for the certification. Out of 2,500 uh, flight hours, we have completed 2,200. So we are now uh, engaged in the last round, which is uh, the route proving with the last aircraft and also preparation for certification. So I expect that we will uh, be on track for both the certification and uh, the delivery of the first aircraft to Qatar Airways, our launch customer.